Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. Karibuni Kakamega, we have some riveting debates for you today. Welcome to the show, The Great Debaters Contest. I go by Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Nyombok. Our motion today is, globalization is the greatest contributor to the erosion of indigenous cultures. We have St. Anne Sega versus the Sacred Heart Girls High School. Who will be the winner? Proposal number one, you have three minutes. I'm Anne Akinyi from St. Anne Sega Girls. Our motion today is, globalization is the greatest contributor to the erosion of indigenous cultures. The question is, what is globalization? I'll take you through. Globalization is simply the act of bringing people together worldwide into a small village. Digitalization digitally. Indigenous. Indigenous is simply something that has its origin from a particular place. Cultures is how people live, the way of life, talk of how people spend their leisure time, how people eat, how people worship, ETC. I simply second this motion fully because the beauty lies to the beholder. And to my first point, language use. You get to know that many elite families prefer their sons and daughters speak foreign language. Why? They prefer this more than the local languages used. The question is, why are we not proud of our nature? Why are we not proud of our own? Why are we acquiring people's things? Especially the youths. You find that they get it embarrassing, they get it shameful, and so awkward to speak their mother tongue. And if I may ask, who here can give me even two words, or even one, word in their mother tongue. Who? But let me just call a child here. Baby, could you tell me even a hundred words in English? This person is going to tell me words and words. Where are we going to? Why aren't we proud of ourselves? Furthermore, we get into the social values. Okay, in social values, you find that Many youths or many people don't prefer consulting their elders, yet it is a God-given duty to have wisdom. They have the wisdom to acknowledge us, not even man-made, but God-given. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes for your opening remarks. Thank you very much. I am Sally Knight from the Sacred Heart Girls High School, Mukumu. First of all, let me just define globalization due to my dissatisfaction in how she um, defined it. According to me, globalization is when different cultures and economic systems around the world become connected and similar to each other because of the in influence of large multinational companies, for example, Coca-Cola has branches all over the world and improved communication. Improved communication, I refer to things like Twitter and Facebook. Whereas indigenous culture in this context is the African way of life, how we did things as Africans. And secondly, no, globalization has not eroded African culture. It has enhanced African culture. What am I talking about? First of all, Parenting. Yes, we accept that our parents are not there, but they are still trying very hard to keep in touch with us. That is why you will find a parent, they have, they have like uh, pages on WhatsApp where they keep in touch with their families and the family st still gets to run on quite well. Secondly, we have marriage. 
In the traditional African culture, if you will all agree with me, the woman was, was considered as, as somebody who was just supposed to sire children and not really voice out her opinions on how the marriage was supposed to run. But due to globalization, we have in the family, both the man and the woman have equal rights where they get to have a say in the family. The wife gets to work and also the man also has to work. Then also trade. We have safer transactions. You might say butter trade, I do not disagree. But butter trade, most of the time we find double coincidence. You come with your beans and the other person also comes with their beans. But due to globalization, we are able to find a wider market for our product. Products. Who says only people in Kenya want to trade? We have people outside there who have better goods, better quality goods, and they have better methods of trade. So why deny them a chance when you can get to get something better outside there? Then also, we have the cost of identity. Um, globalization has simply gotten rid of tribal undertones. A good example is our naming system. How I came and introduced myself as Sally Knight, but that nobody here would have an idea of which tribe I come from. But if somebody came here and said, for example, a name that is believed to be used by maybe the lawyers or a name that is maybe believed by the Kukuyus, somebody might have um, an attitude towards you, basically because of your tribal, where you come from, from your tribal roots. But globalization has done away with that. We have names that nobody can be able to tell where you come from. For example, Sophie, Sally, ETC. Thank you. We'll now hear rebuttals, beginning with the proposition. You have three minutes. So this is Vivian Award from St. Anne's Sega Girls. My first question goes to the opposer. You talked about marriage, that globalization has enhanced marriage. But if I may ask you, don't you know that nowadays brothers and sisters marry each other? And you call that globalization something that was a great taboo in the past. Then you talked about naming system. If I call myself Vivian Awar, I'm proud to be a Luo. But you call yourself with names that doesn't belong to you and you claim to be loving your culture. <laughs> to my point, I would like to propose this motion fully. Actually, globalization has led to the erosion of our cultures. Just as my fellow has said, globalization is just is said to the bringing together of people into a small village through digitalization. Talk of globalization and food. Through globalization, there has been emergence of multinational process, food processing companies that have been able to process fast foods. But if we compare this food to the food of the past, we'll find that this food are more harmful. And to your information, for the, the research that were made just earlier this year shows that most of the cancer-causing agents are these foods that have come as a result of globalization. Secondly, globalization and games. How many a times have you heard of youths killing themselves just because Chelsea have won and they expected Manchester to win instead? You see this just madness of the highest order. It's just madness. How many a times have you heard people being overexcited until they die because their teams have won? Yet these are people you have never seen eye to eye. And if you, call, if you talk of Gormaia, nobody will support. You see how you're deteriorating our culture, you can't even see. We talk of global, globalization has made us as Africans to lose our self-esteem. And why do I say this? You see, our self-esteem has been lowered because we think that our culture is of a lower value. And so when the Europeans come with their cultures, we, we, we fully adopt to their cultures, thinking that theirs is the better. And so with this, our self-esteem is lowered. Dear sisters, it's high time. It's high times we actually change. Opposition will hear your rebuttal now. You have three minutes. I'm Anikea Hilda from the Sacred Hearts Girls High School, Mukumu. Proposing, opposing the motion, globalization is the greatest contributor to the erosion of indigenous culture. Do we sincerely wish to trade with foreign nations if we don't have the goods to exchange with them? 
Do you expect me to blow a horn to communicate to people in Mukumu girls and they would hear this? That is exactly why I'm saying instead of globalization eroding the indigenous culture, it has enhanced the indigenous culture. I can now communicate to my school principal right now. I can call her and tell her I need some amount of money for lunch and through M-Pesa, my school principal will send me the money and it is because of globalization that we have M-Pesa. You talked about people killing themselves because of Chelsea. Have we not had fans of Gormaya and FC stoning each other just because of games? Have we not had that? You talked about language. I'll tell you an example of my language, Murembe, and the answer is Murembe Muno, and that is Luya, which means Habariako Nzuri Sana. Do I not know my language? Globalization is simply trying to bring people together through English, through Kiswahili. We are not just Kenyans. We need to get to people from other countries. That is why I'm saying globalization has enhanced indigenous culture. It has not eroded it. There is absolutely no justification for the fact that there is absolutely no justification for the disadvantages that come along with reading globalization. You talked about marriages where sisters and brothers get married. Can you give me an example of a brother and a sister who got married? I'll tell you, it is a globalized world. We no longer have such issues. Prove to us, tell us the two people, brothers and sisters, who got married. I'm, again, I'm completely against that. This is a vigilant world. This is a time to be vigilant as we look forward to our vision. It's not a time to fight something, to burn the very hands that feed us, which is globalization. Deep within you lies a seed of that seed of greatness through globalization, that seed is waiting to be germinated. That seed is waiting to be provoked to unbridle. And that seed has a silent wealth, which is globalization. It's screaming for exposure. And I'm here to educate you about the importance of globalization. I'll ask you one question. Long time ago, in marriages, actually, people would get married, yes, but the women were not able, let me talk about parenting, the children belong to the society, yes, but nowadays children don't belong to, a so to the society. I'll tell you that in this world, parents are really busy. They have so many issues to tackle, but that doesn't simply mean they have neglected their children. They have not done that. I've told you, let's embrace globalization. What indigenous culture can do, globalization can do better. And what globalization can do, indigenous culture has no idea. Thank you. My name is Safari Cop Mpesa. Oh, have you seen my Mpesa? So sweet and fun like Mpesa. Leave our bills now. Mpesa. Leave our steam on Mpesa. Buy credo na Mpesa. Leave our school fees now. Take part in the M Challenge by sending your short song, rap, or poem about Safaricom M Pesa on WhatsApp, and you could win 1,000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. The audience has posed questions to the two teams on stage. They will be responding to them shortly. The proposition have been asked, why should we embrace our culture, yet it seems to be retarding us or moving us backwards? And of course, the opposition have been asked, hasn't globalization led to the erosion of our indigenous cultures? They will be responding to the audience in a few minutes. The third proposer, you have three minutes. Before you is Akin Helen from St. Anne's Sega Girls. I've heard from you, you've raised a question. The question goes that, how can someone appreciate his or her culture by having some professions? Take for example, being a hunter. Yet, through globalization, someone can be a pilot. Very simple. What do you mean by culture? The way of life. Do you mean that you can like your way of life to be worse to an extent that you're going to be a hunter in the name of maintaining my culture? Take for this instance, my fellow listeners. Don't we have 
local musicians? Is it through globalization that someone knows, get to know on how to be a local musician? The answer will be no, and it's no. To, I mean globalization does not work against the cultural maintenance, but it is really eroding it to erode, it is destroying it. Take for this instance, our markets are really increasing in the bombarded of new musics, new values, new clothes, and new other familiar things that have been introduced into the, into the markets. This has made our old artifacts to be discarded. In fact, they're not valued in the global markets. And this has really destroyed and eroded our culture. Why am I saying this? Take for an example of these secular musics. Take the rhythms, the R&Bs, the hip-hops. I'm very cocksure that now, if I tell one of the students here who is very courageous enough to even sing for me, just even the first line of a hip-hop song, in fact, he will be in need of continuing, and all of you will join it. Dancing mercilessly without even having some respect. But when I tell, for example, I want someone to sing for us a traditional song, I mean the local ones, that have some teachings in the local language to mean it. People will shy off as if it's something that looks awkward and should not be said in front of the people because they consider it outdated. My dear listeners, let me assure you that our culture is not to be eroded by the globalization that you want to be so. Thank you for listening. Third opposer, you have three minutes to respond to the audience as well. I'm Javeri Labwao from the Sacred Hearts Mkumu Girls, and I'd like to start by answering the question on the comparison between our culture in the past and right now with the introduction of globalization. I'd say, in our own perspective, do you support, we don't say that our cultures are being, we are being undermining them, but look at what glo globalization has done to us. Some of our cultures um, encourage the female genital mutilation. Is that what you girls want? No, that's not what we want. We want, to be, we want also to be empowered in our communities because with globalization, women have been empowered. Have you read the most prolific novel, The River and the Source, by, the, by our own renowned author, Margaret Ogola? We have Nyabera as a character in that novel. She's one of the women who we see that was jeopardized by the wife inheritance in the culture of the Luo. But that's not what globalization does to us. Globalization tries to make all of us equal, makes all of us equal to the eyes of men. It is due to globalization that I've been able to know that today, our former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, at 11.35 a.m., was able to tweet, I really support women leadership. That is globalization. It supports, it supports women empowerment. It's because of globalization that we've been able to listen to our local artists. Take an example of the Kayamba Africa. Those are singers that actually sing our local songs. So globalization is actually trying to widen, to enhance our indigenous cultures. Thank you. We'll now hear closing statements. Proposers, you have a minute. Dear brothers and sisters, we can't go anywhere if you don't know our origin. We can't prosper if you don't know where we come from. How do you just ignore your culture just to imitate somebody else's culture? We can't go anywhere. 
we can't and therefore i urge all of you because as to me from my point of view i propose this motion 99% that globalization has indeed eroded our cultures and i mean it so my dear opposers please i hope that next time you'll join hands so that we can support this motion together thank you Opposers, you have a minute as well for your final remarks. Thank you once again. And I'd like to thank you for proposing this motion, 99%, because I oppose it 100%. Um, Maya Angelou, the most renowned African novelist, f feminist rather, may her soul rest in peace, said that a caged bird is free, but its freedom is only limited to the confinement of the cage. We are not saying that our culture, that globalization is undermining our culture. We are only saying that it has appreciated what we had and it is trying to make it better for us. Remember, we are products of nature. Fine, but change is also the only cost, constant thing in nature. So why, should we go, why shouldn't we go along with change? Thank you. What we were hoping to hear from the Sacred Heart, and there are two ways in which you could have looked at this motion, that globalization is not the greatest contributor to the erosion of the indigenous culture. And if you went that way, then the, 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 you know, uh, the question then would have been, then what is? Secondly, you could have said that globalization is the greatest enhancer of indigenous culture. And if you went that way, then, how has it done this? You know, in terms of your style and presentation, you did very well. Your mastery of language is good. Your passion and conviction was in the middle. Your mastery of topic, that's where the challenge starts and the coherency of argument. And I think your first speaker starts off well and we are hoping to hear from the rest, but because that connection is missing, you then uh, you know, are not able to do justice to the motion. But with that, you still did, you know, you still did well. For St. Anne Sega, you're, you're basically proposing this motion, and ideally what we are hoping to hear from your side is what aspects of indigenous culture are lost as a result of globalization. And so you understood uh, you know, your role well, and I can actually, we can actually be able to attribute certain aspects of culture that are lost as a result of globalization. And one of them is music. I think there's one person who talked about music. Somebody talked about naming. Of course, there are questions about how you went ahead to do your submission. And then somebody else talked about language. So we, we can actually see that you're pointing out various aspects of culture, the indigenous culture, that have been eroded as a result of, of globalization. I, I think overall, um, you both did well under the circumstances and all the best to the two schools. So at 67%, we have St. Anne Sega and the Sacred Heart Girls High School tied. Please give both teams a round of applause. We congratulate them for the thrilling and very entertaining debate. We look forward to more such debates in the Kakamega region. We'd like to thank you for watching the show from all of us here at the Great Debaters Contest. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Great Debaters PA. And of course, our thanks go out to Safaricom M-Pesa and to KBC Channel One. I've been your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yambok. Catch you next time. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa.